Hey engineers, this is Mr. Hernandez. So for this last 3D modeling assignment of the year, I want to show you guys how to make a couple of holiday theme 3D models or decorations. So we're gonna be making uh, two models here. So we're gonna be making a Christmas tree and we'd be making a snowflake. So I'm gonna show you guys how to design these and how to fill out the document so you can turn this in properly. Okay, so to start off here, um, we're gonna be making the Christmas tree first. And when we're making this Christmas tree, we're going to be keeping track of the measurements for each tier. Now, you guys can make some decisions here. You can decide exactly how tall and how wide to make these. But I want to make sure that you guys are keeping track of this, that we were keeping a record of your design, and we don't lose those measurements. This tree is going to have a couple of tiers. So the first tier is the trunk. And the trunk is fixed. It's going to have a height of 10 millimeters, a diameter of 10 millimeters, and an altitude. So the altitude is how high above the work plane it is. Now the altitude of the trunk is zero because it's starting on the ground. So that's our first tier. And then our next tiers are the branches. So these are the actual green parts. Now like a Christmas tree, it's going to start off large and it's going to shrink down as it goes up. And then you can also put a topper on top of the tree. And we're going to keep track of these as we go. So let's go ahead and jump into Tinkercad. And we're going to create a new design here. And you can call this design my Christmas tree. So let's start off with the trunk like I was showing you there. And the dimensions of this are set. So we're going to have a height of 10. And we're going to have a diameter of 10. And with the circle, make sure that you're changing both sides here. And this isn't the color of tree trunk. Tree trunks are orange. So I'm gonna change this to brown. All right, so there's our first tier. Now for the, our branches, I'm gonna use cones. So let's drag this cone out here. Um, I'm gonna start by turning it green for our tree. And now we have to decide how big this is going to be. So I'm going to start by looking at the radius. Now the radius is half of the diameter. So basically the radius is the measurement from the middle to the outside and the diameter is the measurement all the way across. So you can see here we've got a radius of 10 but if I hover over it we have a diameter of 20. So I'm going to make all of my changes by setting the radius just because that's a little bit easier here. So I'm going to keep the height the same at 20. And for this first one, I'm going to change the radius to, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go to 20 here. You'll see I now have a cone that is 40 millimeters across. And I want this to be on top of the tree trunk. So I'm also going to raise this. I'm going to change its altitude to 10. That way it sits right there on top of it. And now I can align them. So I want, to, I want them to be stacked on top of each other, just like that. So from here, I'm going to jump back to my document. So that first set of branches had a height of 20, a diameter of 20, and an altitude of 10. Perfect. It wouldn't be a good Christmas tree with just one tier. So I'm going to take another cone. I'm also going to make this one green. And for this one, I'm going to shrink it down. This one had, the first one had a diameter or a radius of 20. This one's going to have a radius of 15. And I can keep the height the same. But I'm going to lift this one up. So that was 10, and then this one's 20, but I want them to overlap a little bit. So I'm actually going to lift this one up to, if I can hide this away, I'm gonna hide this one up to 20. All right, and now I'm gonna align everything once again. Um, and you can see here, I didn't raise this one up completely over the one below. I did that on purpose. I want them to overlap like this. So here's my second one. And I just realized that's not the diameter. That's the radius I put in. So I have to actually double these. 
So this one is 20, a diameter of 30, and this one has an altitude of 20. Now I'm going to add an additional cone. This one I'm going to shrink down. So we went from 20 to 15, and now I'm going to go to, go all the way down to eight. Let's see how that works. And for this one, I'm also gonna shrink the height a little bit, because you can see it is getting very tall and pointy, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna change the height to, go to 15 on this one, see how that looks. I think that's pretty good. And we've got 10, we've got 20. I'm gonna just set the height of this one to 30 and just see how that looks so far. Or the altitude of this one to 30. All right, so let's align this and let's see if I'm happy with the measurements so far. All right, now looking at this, these two are way too close. So I'm gonna lift this one up just a little bit more. I'm gonna go from 30 to maybe 35 on the altitude. All right, so it's not quite even, but I kind of like it. So I'm gonna fill that in here. So for this one, my height was only 15. My, diam my diameter is actually 16. Remember, we have to double it. And then the altitude is 35. All right, now no Christmas tree would be complete without having a topper of some kind. So I am going to go ahead and grab, I'm actually going to grab this shape right here. I'm going to put a icosahedron. Yeah, I'm going to put a fancy gold icosahedron up there. I'm going to shrink this down because it's just a little bit too big. I'm going to shrink this down because it's just a little bit too big. And a trick that you can do is if you hold shift, while you drag a corner, it'll shrink it down evenly. Um, and this one, you can really just play with to get the, try and set the height right. So I'm gonna lift this one up, probably to like 40, maybe 43, 45. And finally, I'm gonna line this once again. Conventional, but I like this tree. Now you can always put a star on yours, you can put a ring, you can put a diamond, put whatever shape you want up there. You can even draw your own. Um, but no matter what, this is going to be the general idea for your Christmas tree. Um, so go ahead and take a screenshot of this and add it to your document. And then we're actually going to go ahead and move on because our next part is the snowflake and before we can fill in the snowflake we're going to have to do a little bit of math here so snowflakes are really cool they've got their shape because there's some physical properties of water the way that water wants to freeze is it wants to freeze in a very particular shape it really likes hexagons and a hexagon has six sides that's actually why every snowflake has six arms. They're all starting from a center hexagon and then branching off as they grow out. Um, now, with a hexagon, every side has a spacing of 60 degrees. And we're going to have to keep that spacing with our snowflakes. So, the way that we're going to make our snowflake is we're going to make one shape, and then we're going to copy it and rotate it around 60 degrees until we have it all stacked up. So, you're gonna have to figure out all of the angles that we're gonna need here. So our first one is at an angle of zero because it's the original. Our second one is at an angle of 60 degrees. So that's our first copy. Our first copy, we have to rotate by 60 degrees. Our second copy needs to be rotated by an extra 60 degrees. So we have to go from 60 and then 60 more and then 60 more and so on. So I'll show you guys the first one here. So we go from zero to 60 and then what's 60 plus 60? Well, that's 120. 
what's 120 plus 60? You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. All right, so from here, let's bounce back over to Tinkercad and let's go ahead and make a new design. Um, so once you have your new design open, you can go ahead and call it My Snowflake. And for this one, we're gonna use a new tool. I think some of you have used it, but I've never included it in a lesson. Um, this is going to be the Scribble tool. So the Scribble tool is a little bit odd compared to the other ones, because when you drag it onto the work plane, you're gonna take it over to this special area like this. And we're gonna try and make an interesting shape here. Um, the shape that we need to make is one arm of a snowflake. So a couple of guidelines here. You're gonna to want to make your shape pretty skinny you want to kind of go in one direction for the most part. You're gonna to want to include some kind of like interesting branches or shapes that come off of it. Um, you kind of want to picture your shape having like a top and a bottom, and the top should be narrower than the bottom. Now, you don't want to get too crazy with the shape here um, because it has a high chance of ending up as a mess. Remember, we're gonna make six copies of this, um, but I do want you guys to be creative. So do your best, see how it turns out. You can always try it again if it doesn't work out quite the way you wanted it to. So to my snowflake, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm just gonna add a couple of little branches out here. And then down here, I'm gonna add some longer branches like this. And maybe one more little tick right here. I'm trying to keep it kind of symmetrical, but it doesn't need to be perfect. All right, so that is my one branch. And what you can do here is pause right here, take a screenshot and add that screenshot to your report because the first part of your report asks for a screenshot of that individual scribble. Okay, so make sure you pause right here and take that screenshot now. Let's come back and let's start turning this into a snowflake. Now this part is a little bit tricky, so bear with me here we're first going to make a copy of this. And you can do that with keyboard shortcuts. So make sure this is highlighted, then press and hold Control and C. And now we've copied it. And that copy is just kind of floating on our clipboard. Uh, if we want to actually see the copy, we need to press Control and V, and that pastes a second copy. All right, perfect. Now this is where that table comes in. I'm gonna take our first copy right here and I'm going to rotate it. Now you have to be careful here because we wanna only rotate them um, in the X, Y plane. We don't want it to be coming up out of the page. We just wanna be spinning it around on the table like this. All right, and our first one, our first copy gets rotated by 60 degrees and you're gonna have to kind of do this manually I'll warn you um, we're just going to stack these right on top of each other and you want to get the centers aligned as close as you can or the bottoms of them aligned as close as you can all right so that's our first copy let's go ahead and add our second copy now like I told you guys before your second copy gets rotated an extra 60 degrees so this one's 120. And we keep on going like that. And once you have all six copies here, um, and they've all been rotated the right amount, then you can select all of them and press group. And there we have it. One squiggly snowflake. Um, now, if you want it to look more like ice, you can change the color to transparent right here. Um, you can also make it skinnier, which makes it a little bit more snowflake-like. But that part is optional. Now, I will warn you, because we're making so many copies of this, be really careful not to like lose track of them. It's really easy to get into a mess where you don't know where any of your parts are. You don't know which one's the first one, which is the second one. You don't want to have it flipped over and have an ugly snowflake like this. So 
keep track of your parts. Um, make sure that you um, don't lose them. Make sure that they all stay uh, nice and neat. And you should be able to make a beautiful little snowflake. All right, engineers. Um, so that's going to wrap that up. This is the last assignment of um, this of this year. So the last assignment in 2020. I hope you guys have some fun with this one. I'm really looking forward to seeing your trees and your snowflakes. And I hope you guys enjoy your winter break. I'll see you guys in 2021.